What's going on everybody? This is Prickstar from Editorial. Today I'm gonna do a requested tutorial and it's gonna be on how to make some text words look like this. Pretty nice, probably the best you can make. So basically I'm gonna go ahead, load up your cinema 4D, and then make some regular mode text. Uh, if you want the font, the font is gonna be there. Wild style. I think that's what it's called. So now, once you got your, you want to select your mold text, copy and paste it. Once you have pasted it, click on the second one which you just made. Go to fit cap on both end and start. You want to put it to one centimeters on both. You don't really want to do any more than that. So now, what you're gonna do? You're just gonna one sec. You wanna click on the second mold text only and then just drag it back a bit so you can still see the front one is in th the first one is in front now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the front one a bit lighter to make it look better so if you don't have any materials already I'm gonna show you how to make the best one so I'm gonna go for a grey text look I'm gonna go down to reflection. Pretty much just I'll pause the video here and copy them settings. Make sure it's ticked. Go to specular. Just go ahead and copy these settings. And then once you've done that, I'm just gonna drag this on to the first one only, not the second one. And for the second one, you might want to just make the text a bit darker or whatever you want. So now, it's gonna look. So actually I'll make this a bit darker uh, there we go that looks pretty nice you want to make sure it's not sticking out by a lot just a bit because this will make a huge difference in the outcome like that right. now what you want to do you're going to copy the first one what you do is Control C, Control V, so you're gonna get another one. Now, what you really want to do is you're just gonna load up the side of the text, so it's on the side view. Click on the one we just made. Maybe, so just, oh, first you wanna go to depth, go to 10. So it looks best like this. You're gonna go about middle way through, so you can see it there. Middle way through, go to caps. And you're gonna, do, gonna go to fill cap like you did on the first one. Now you're gonna go and put it on three. So this is gonna give it like a nice outline. If you look, you can see it there. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna model the text. So it's important that you do exactly what I do. So just click on the first one, like at the bottom. Hold shift if you want Windows. Don't know what you do on a Mac, sorry. Click on the second one, so all three are highlighted. You're gonna click this button here. That one. And what it's gonna do is gonna make all the letters pretty much uh, separate so you can edit them one by one. Because I've got three, I've got like three different taxes. So you're gonna do, and what I'm gonna do is you might wanna click on A, hold control, click A again on the next one. Just go down, get the final A. And do it, just gonna model it a bit, like maybe rotate it. That's pretty nice. Do the same with the S. And then all the rest as well. Just gonna model that one as well. Watch on that. You're gonna do it to the P. Maybe you're just gonna. Turn this one the opposite way to the rest. Nice effect. Do the same with the final letter. Just gonna rotate it like this. That looks pretty nice up to now. Apart from I just need to bring the P a bit forward. If you guys like this tutorial and find it pretty helpful, please like the video, it helped very much. And if you want to know how to do something else, leave comments and I will read them all. Hopefully get round. So anyway, 
Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and render the text. Make sure it's PNG. Off channel is ticked, so there's no black back back yeah, black background. Go ahead and save it as whatever you want. I'm gonna save it as tutorial. Now you're gonna click on the render button. Basically now it's just gonna render. I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video right now. Okay, so the text is finished rendering and it looks out pretty nice. Before when I said you need to move it back a tiny bit, make these white like glow lines. Makes it look pretty much better. So anyway, you wanna go ahead, find the text to be saved. Mine was called tutorial, so let's go ahead and find it. It's there. So as you can see in the little icon, there's no white background, and this is a lot better to work with. So once you pretty much open it, when my computer stops crashing. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna copy it onto the document you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here. What you wanna do is you wanna go to blending options. You wanna go to grid and overlay. So basically, once you click on it, you're gonna go ahead and edit it. You're gonna make the bottom color the color of your text. So mine would be gray. Okay, let's make it that kind of gray. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna you wanna put it down to overlay. You make the percent about thirty seven. That's a pretty nice one. And then I shouldn't do it now, I'm gonna go to drop shadow. There's no particular numbers for this. What I pretty much do is I just pretty much put it around there. Not that much, maybe that much, whatever. After that, you really don't want to touch the distance because that's what mess up. After that, now I'm just going to show you how to make the text like the key part of this whole tutorial. When the computer stops crashing. So, what you're going to do is you're going to find a texture like this. I'll upload this in the description if you can't find a good one. It's pretty much scratch metal. Then you're going to go ahead, copy and paste that onto your documents when my computer stops crashing again paste it on you can see it will be like that so now you just wanna basically line up you wanna get the black corner pretty much out of it that isn't really nice at all once you've done that you make sure you hold alt and tab and click in between the two layers of your text and your metal texture thingy. As you can see it's gonna like form around the text which we don't really want so you wanna go ahead and put the option onto overlay. As you can see this already looks miles better. Just wanna duplicate. Okay then what you're gonna do now is gonna go and edit transform and then pretty much just rotate it I may not rotate it, flip it horizontal. And then just drag it across to where the texture is not. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. So basically if you don't if there's any problems, just leave a comment in the description and I will help you fix it. And grey will look pretty dark, but if you go for a different colour like a Let's say this one. This one looks really nice, like a blue, a light blue, and a black. So, thanks for watching. This has been PRG from Editor Real and expect more in the future.